Well, it's March 5th. We're just off of the South River. Most of this little creek is still frozen. Uh, this tram here is about 201 feet to the bottom. Uh, we had to go over the water. We had the uh, Maryland environment involved with this one. Uh, had to cut out a small portion of their, uh, I guess we call it their stairway. We are able to blend the tram right into it. Uh, we lucked out on that one. We did have to remove a little bit of dirt, uh, not too much, about a foot, taper it off. Uh, the electrician's already been here. Uh, he's got his conduit in, electric going down to the pier. They're gonna be putting that black water line under the tram in the near future. Um, I don't know how many stairs that is, but uh, I know it's well over. 250 steps. Um, as you can see, there's still snow on the ground. In most cases, you're not uh, supposed to run the tram when you got ice and snow on the, the main cables. And uh, there's our noisy little safety device again. We also had to uh, do some work down at the pier. We had to remove about five boards, extend them out so we could. Uh, land the tram on them. We've done others like this where uh, we've landed the tram on the pier and had to take a step or two down uh, due to a shallow angle like we have. Uh, we're able to go right to the bottom and step right off. Um, we did have a contractor uh, came in and jetted in uh, three poles for us. Uh, we only needed one, but the other two are uh, for future stability. Uh, when you uh, sink these galvanized poles in the water or right at the water's edge they after about five years they deteriorate um, so we made sure we uh, avoided that situation by uh, having pier poles put in um, again this one is 201 feet it takes three minutes and 26 seconds to get to the bottom uh, if you want to do the math on that I'm not sure what it is but it's about uh, Let's see, 106 seconds going to 201 feet. Um, one of the disappointments of putting um, the boards in there, as you can see, the old pier boards are uh, showing their age. They look a little black, and then all of a sudden you got five brand new boards there. Uh, they kind of stick out a little bit. Uh, we also have a, at the end of the uh, tram there, we got a, a call station. We put a little chrome cap on it like the other gentleman has done here. Um, right here they do have somewhat of a landslide. I would say that's about uh, probably 12 to 15 feet to the dirt. It looks as the whole hillside is uh, dropping out and it hopefully possibly doesn't drop out in the near future. Uh, it does look like it's eroding away. Hopefully on their next big rain they'll know for sure. As you see we come down to the bottom uh, the extra boards that were put in do stick out a little bit like a sore thumb, but absolutely necessary. I understand they're going to pressure wash everything and uh, probably coat it and seal it and won't even notice. But, uh, let's take a look down here. Take a quick step off. And uh, that's our product, Edgewater Tram. Uh, it's Fat Tuesday. The water is still mainly frozen. Still got a lot of snow on the ground. Uh, have a great day.